How's it going everyone? So you're probably wondering what the secret is when it comes to putting. You, you might think you probably heard everything, but I am very positive that you haven't heard of this one. And it's called the grip pressure. It is probably one of the most important things when it comes to consistency in putting. And even, look, even if, if you have good basics, even if you have good tempo, good posture, good everything, you might like grip pressure. And if your grip pressure is wrong, then all of those things are not gonna help you. So you really need to get ahead of the grip pressure and start prioritizing this a lot. And look, let me show you why. So the first thing is, if you hold your pota 60% with the left hand and 40% with the right hand, and then the next putt, you hold 60 with this one and 40 with this one, percent we're talking about, right? Then your whole stroke is gonna differ because you're gonna, you're gonna pressurize one side of the club and then the weight is gonna shift into the other side. And I'm gonna show you different examples of how the percentages of the left and the right hand affect the putting. So let's do this. All right, let me show you now how the grip pressure actually affects the stroke. So I'm gonna use these two clubs or these two um, alignment sticks as a resemblance so you guys understand how, like, how my stroke, if it goes up or if it goes back, all right? Let's do this. The first, the first three putts are gonna be 80% on the left hand and 20% on the right hand. You've seen how 80-20 changed the direction like this, right? So let's do 20-80% and see what that does to the stroke. Now you've seen how 80-20% and 80 and 20 percent on the other hand affects the stroke now let me show you what it does if you if you control the grip by 50 50. let's do this do you see how how much more stable my stroke is it's not going up and it's not going backwards as well look again 50 50. And I might not have the perfect stroke, but it's just the resemblance of what you should expect when you change the grip pressure. So we've gone through all three of different grip pressures, right? Or, I mean, you can have 70, 30, you can have 40, um, 60, but you get the point, right? So if one hand is stronger than the other, it's gonna move towards that direction. So when you go in a tournament, and even if you practice 50-50, right? You're trying to get that stroke and um, you're trying to get the grip pressure 50-50, right? You need to practice this a lot because when you get nervous, then what can happen is I go back, I have 50-50, right? I go back, I squeeze my right hand and it goes 40-60. Now what that, what that does to, to the club is it's straight. Now I squeeze the right hand, it's going to close the putter and I'm gonna hit a pull, right? It same happens with the other hand. I go 50-50, I go back, I squeeze my left hand, the club opens, right? Look, and go closer. You see, 50-50, I squeeze my right hand, pull. I go back, I squeeze my left hand, push, right? So that's why this is so important to have the right grip pressure on putting. And it's not the easiest thing and it's not the hardest thing. You just need to get the feel of what 50-50 actually feels like. But it also depends a lot on what kind of grip you have, right? Because there's some grips that are gonna prioritize one hand than the other. And that can lead to a grip change. I mean to, sorry, to a grip pressure change, right? So if I have, let's say the reverse grip, then I might squeeze my left hand a little bit harder. So you might have to adjust grip pressure on different grips, right? That's why it's really important to understand what grip suits you so you can adjust your technique and your grip pressure as well. 
So look, let me give you the demonstration as well on the bottom what happens if you change the grid pressure between the stroke. All right, so watch this. I'm gonna try to have 50-50% on both hands and I'm gonna go back, watch this. I'm gonna go back, squeeze my right hand because I'm nervous, pull, right? Let me show you again. Trying to have 50-50, you get nervous, right hand squeeze, pull. Now if you do this with the other hand, if you do this with the other hand, then we go 50-50 back, squeeze left hand, push, right? So hopefully this gives you a little bit more of understanding how the grip pressure works because it is really important. So look, if, you, if this is your first time hearing it, then I would highly suggest to go on the course and actually figure out what your grip pressure is, right? If you have 60-40, good, maybe try 50-50. Maybe your stroke is gonna get better just by doing this. So next time, pay attention. And what I want you to do is comment down below if this actually worked. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.